Good morning, everyone. We offer this mask for Tracy Sarcona. This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we begin this Eucharist, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the country of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the martyr Saint Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently profess it by our deeds. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things, the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived but you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in christ jesus all scripture is inspired by god and is useful for teaching for refutation for correction and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Permanence is your worst chief trait. Each of your just ordinances is everlasting. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Princes persecute me without cause. But my heart stands in awe of your word. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. O Lord, great peace of day who love your law. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. O Lord, great peace of day who love your law. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word and my Father will love him, 
and will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in a temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, the church gives us a chance to celebrate St. Boniface. St. Boniface is known as a missionary, a missionary who left England and went up to the little bit north, really to proclaim, to proclaim the gospel, to proclaim the message of Jesus. And as he was proclaiming, his first mission was unsuccessful. Unsuccessful, and then he came back and then had to go back a second time to a different place, really to continue that mission. And finally, when he, he reached Germany, he was so successful with his message, proclaimed the message, founded monasteries, and finally came to the first place where he was unsuccessful. And that's really where he was martyred. And when we hear this example of St. Boniface, it is really an invitation for all of us, as St. Paul says it clearly in the first reading, that you have to persevere in faith. You have to persevere in faith. What defines us as believers is our perseverance to make sure that no matter what, we stick with our gracious God and we know that our salvation stays with our gracious God. And that's really God's message to all of us today. Do you believe that that where lies your salvation if you are faithful to a gracious God? And that's the message. We have to persevere. We have to endure. And St. Paul, speaking to Timothy, is even saying, you know, those who truly believe in God, trust God, who are faithful to God, they have to expect some kind of persecution in their lives. Because the Spirit of God is different from the Spirit of the world. And we have to fight every single day to make sure that we continue to be God's witnesses. And that's really our mission as believers and followers. And today as we celebrate St. Boniface, this is an example given to all of us. That if St. Boniface was able to do it, you and I can also do it. We can do our best in whatever little place we live, in whatever we do to try to be a true witness, not to give up. As believers, we continue to be that light. In the middle of the darkness, we want to be that light, that light that shines so that even people who are far away, maybe your light is not that bright the way you want it to be, but at least you are shining, that people can see that there is a light there. And that's our mission as believers. And as we know, that's challenging. That's challenging. That's why our readings today are talking about the persecution. But also the gospel is really a word of confidence that the Lord said, you know, I will put all your enemies under your feet. You have to trust our gracious God because you will always prevail if you trust our gracious God. May God help us this morning as we hear this message, the true readings, as we try to learn from St. Boniface to know that if we persevere, if we trust our gracious God, we'll always prevail and God will grant our salvation knowing that we are his faithful followers. Let us now turn to the Father with confidence as we present our prayers of petition. That the church may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may grant all nations prudent and compassionate leaders who strive to work together for the good of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer for the sake of the gospel may find consolation in God's promises, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will gather around the Lord's table today 
May we see the grace of God's call to a deeper sense of holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may share in God's gifts of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Tracy Sarcona, for whom this Eucharist is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you sent your Son to bring us life. Hear the prayers we place before you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received to the wine we offer you fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, that by your grace may we be set afire with that flame of your love to which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed mother, Barnabas pour out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our witness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples to say him, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples to so say, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me, says the Lord. Let us say our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment 
receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us the determination which made your blessed mother manifest, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.